Hello everyone, welcome back to the Action Theater Cave. And today we're going to continue to celebrate 40 years of The Empire Strikes Back. And in case you missed it, on our last video we showcased the legacy Imperial ad. Today we're going to showcase the vintage collection Boba Fett's Slave One. So don't go anywhere. See you in a bit. Hey Patrick, where you been? Um, in the house, where else would I be? Mm, that's right, you've been hiding in the room a lot. Yeah. 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 We'll just, don't talk about that though. Let's get on with it. Alright, let's get it. Okay. So, before we get into the showcasing of the Slave One, I just wanted to clarify, this is the 2013 vintage collection Slave One that came out and it's an Amazon school so it's not the new one that is being released in about like, next month, right? In May. So, just wanted to clarify that. Well, Dad. You know, you're doing all the Empire Strikes Back stuff that we did the ad at last video, the yeah. video of us. Now I'm doing this, but you're completely jumping over the 15th anniversary of Revenge of the Sith. 15th anniversary of Revenge of the Sith. year 2000. Oh, yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. But it's only 15 years. I mean, 40 years is not special, you know? I mean, and plus we're doing the Battle of Genosis, right? <laughs> That's Attack of the Clones. Oh, uh, wow. Well, you know, it's still. <laughs> Part of the event, I mean, I guess it is part of Clone Wars, right? All right, well, maybe we'll do a um, Hot Toys unboxing, which we did. We did Anakin Skywalker a couple weeks ago, so we may have to do a Hot, a hot Toys Revenge of the Sith, right? Yes. All right, so let's get on to Slave 1. As with most vintage collection items, we need to look at the box art first before we get into the toy. Like I said, this was a Amazon exclusive and it came out in 2013 and this was the box art and there's your little kenner right there so the box art i definitely really dig this one um, here's some of the top part here and this one is in pretty pretty good condition there it is that vintage collection right there uh, so, like I said, there's a new one coming out, I think, next month, and the box art is very similar. The biggest difference is that the Slave 1 is actually on the landing platform of Cloud City. So, you still have the same picture here. Obviously, you have the, the newer ship, and then there's Cloud City in the background, and you see the, the, the landing platform instead of just seeing the yellow background box is actually a lot better in the newer one so um you know we'll go through all the differences in, in a minute but let's get into the ship okay so here is the slave one out of the box i mean it's been out of the box actually i actually just just recently did an unboxing and we did a video on it it was a few months ago so i had this thing closed in the box for for years and me and the boys did an unboxing um, on it. So anyway, as before I knew they were going to make a new one, I would have kept it boxed if I knew that. But anyway, one of the huge drawers to this ship is the looks of it. And as you know me right now, Empire Strikes Back is my favorite Star Wars movie. And Slave One is definitely up there as one of my favorite vehicles in the Star Wars universe. Let's take a look at, you know, all the deco in here. Just awesome looking deco in this, on this vehicle. This came out, I said, um, seven years ago, and it still looks phenomenal. And in case you're wondering, this stand right here is a custom stand. So, you know, back in 2013, they did not include the stand, so you couldn't display it like this. And I love it. This is the way it should be displayed, because that's the way it's, and it's in flight mode. One of the major differences in the, in the new one that's coming out is it actually comes with a stand. So if you purchase the new one, you'll be able to display it just like this. The stand's a little different, it's not like this, but still it's a, definitely a good idea. So let's take a look at the back of the Slave 1 and here are some of the details. I'm going to move that more into the light so you can see some of the paint. So yeah, so definitely a lot of detail back here. Well, that's one of the, another huge upgrade of um, the new one that's coming out is that this has more paint on the back. It kind of has more of a silver look and just more of a two-tone paint. Again, I'll show you on the screen what I'm talking about. So as good as this looks here, the new one is gonna look a lot better. Yeah, the ship just, like I said, the, the 
deco on it is just amazing. It's the, to date, it's the best slave one out there. We'll see when the new one comes and see how how much better it is. It has some, you know, some nice paint on the, on the wings. You know, we'll get into the wings feature in a minute. And we got more, more some nice paint there. Uh, let's look at the uh, cockpit. Obviously, we have the vintage collection, Boba Fett in there, and it, it kind of just slides in there. It is like, um, you can fit three figures in there, and it, is, it kind of slides into those two little uh, grooves there. And that's how I have Boba Fett in there. So, you know, some, some detail. I'm not really sure if the new one is going to have more detail on this. I'm guessing it will. I'm guessing the inside will have a different paint. If you take a look at here, this is a um, hand carbonite that came with the set. And um, kind of slide them in here. It he comes out. It's a tight fit in there, so I'm um, wondering if that's going to be fixed in the new one. It's not a huge deal, but it's sometimes hard to get out. So, nothing crazy about this one. I think we're getting a newer one. I think, just looking by the pictures, I think this one will be a little more detailed on the new one. Also here on the top part, these are stickers. Uh, I think the new one is not gonna have stickers and they're gonna have paint on here, which I would love, because I'm not really a big fan of stickers. I'm not sure who likes putting stickers on, but I don't. So let's take a look at the bottom here. We have um, turning missiles here, and they're really close. So you have a little bit of a rub here. So again, I'm not sure that's going to be different in the new one. Okay, so we have a nice uh, paintwork over here, um, and this is a, a missile. So there's a button right back here. If you press that button. And there goes your missile. I'm gonna regret doing that because I'm gonna spend a very long time trying to find that later on today. So, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get that anytime soon. So, obviously, there's one on the other side as well. Same button on the other side. Here is Slave One in landing mode. And I was able to find that missile pretty quickly, but it did go on the piece of furniture and I did hit my head on the way back up. That would have been some cool content if I had that on video. All right, so let's take a look at some of the other features. Uh, here in the back here, we have a little ramp here that slides out, which is pretty cool. And then right underneath here, there's a little compartment and you have a little place to put a prisoner or some kind of bounty. Uh, if you've seen my past videos, you probably know who the prisoner is. Yes, it is. K3PO. He is one of my biggest volunteers when it comes to videos like this. So anyway, you just kind of slide it back in there. It goes in pretty good. And we close it up. So, cool feature. Let's take a look at some more of the interior here. You know, here's the, as where the, uh, Compartment is, but uh, so you know, pretty pretty roomy in there. You have some um, foot pegs in there, so you could fit a couple of figures in there, some bounty hunters, and you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, there is some stickers in there, and I'm thinking in the new one there won't be. So I'm guessing on the new one there will be more updated paint. So, but we'll see. So anyway, um, well, so that's it. And here is the view of the cockpit. So let's take a look at. The flight mode and see how the wings and the cockpit kind of works. So before we get into the, the wings, let's uh, take a look at the, the back part here. There is uh, two bombs that are ejected with a press of a button here. So if you press this button, you get that. Or if you want to put it this way, you get a better fall. So back there. So okay. So here it is, slave one and flight mode without on the stand. One of the problems I think this vehicle has is um, this here is supposed to move, obviously when you put it in different flight paths. So it does move, you can see right here, you can see how the cockpit does move, uh, but the wings don't move with it. It kind of just locks in there. So you gotta like, gotta unlock it like that. And then again, cockpit moves then you have to move the wings. I would think that the whole device should work. The whole thing should work. I would think that 
when this moves, the wings moves too automatically, but not not on mine. So I mean, I know I read a lot of other people having the same issue with it. So I'm not sure if the new one's gonna be fixed. It's not a huge deal because really, you know, when you do move it, the cockpit does move, and the only thing you have to do is move the the wing. So definitely a cool feature, but it doesn't really work the way I think it's designed to work. So so before the prequel police yells at me again. I figured I'll take out the Django Fett's version of Slave 1 and show a side-by-side -side comparison. This one came out in 2010 and I'm pretty sure it was a Toys R Us exclusive. And this is Django Fett's Attack of the Clones version of Slave 1. So it's the same, the same ship as Boba Fett's. Uh, obviously it would a much different paint deco. So I'm very happy to have both of these ships. I'm a huge fan of Django Fett. I mean, even a bigger fan of Boba Fett. So, you know, have these guys side by side is definitely really one cool display. There's Boba Fett. And then there it is, Mr. Django Fett. So, yes. So the price point on the Boba Fett Slave 1 was $69.99 when it first came out back in 2013. And then the prices have skyrocketed on this thing. At one point, to get a closed one in the box was up near $300. Uh, the prices have come down a little bit because the new one's coming out. And the new one is going to be $149.99, which is definitely steep. But if you think about it, in 2013, this ship was... Like I said, $69.99 and it came without the stand. And the new one's gonna have an updated paint apps on the back and probably most likely the cockpit. So you figure it out, is it, is it worth to get another one? If you don't have one, I, I would definitely go after the new one. And I'm, and I'm still gonna get the new one. I know I have this one. I love Slave 1 and I would just have just an amazing display of it all three of them together. And I, and I think the price, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's definitely up there, especially without any electronics or anything. You do, you are getting a, a base with it. I don't know, let's say I have it on pre-order. I'll leave a link in the description to Antima Earth. That's where I have mine on pre-order. So in case you're interested and you want to check it out, I'll leave that there for you guys. Definitely really cool ship. Let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know if you are planning getting the new one or not. All right, guys. Thanks again for, for watching. If you're new to the channel, just make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of content coming up. We have contests on this channel. We just finished doing a um, really awesome contest. Just kind of got those prizes out the door the other day. So hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And we'll keep the videos coming, guys. For now, go get yourself some... Boba Fett action figures.